Hey guys, George from Soundtracks here, and today we're going to talk about head end power, known as HEP. Now, in the Tsunami 2, function 16 enables the head end power. Head end power traditionally increases the diesel engine RPM to create extra electrical energy. That electrical energy then is used to power the lights, air conditioning units, kitchens, whatever, and the passenger train behind it. Now in function 16, you can just simply turn it on and the decoder will go into head end power mode based on which prototype locomotive you're using. For example, the Amtrak F40 PHs would go to notch 8. These locomotives were known as the little screamers because they were sit at the station, but they were in notch 8 and with that turbocharged whine, they were pretty loud and obnoxious. Now GE with their P42s would go to notch 6. Now let's try this out and see how this works. So now we're going to take our P42 and we're going to enable HEP mode. So we're going to push function 16. You're going to hear the alarm bell kick on and then you're going to hear the prime mover notch up to 6. So now once it's at notch six, I can move the locomotive at speed step one or two, and I'm gonna put my finger in front of this to slow it down, and you're gonna hear the dynamic digital exhaust increase the diesel engine intensity and the RPM up to eight when needed. Since I'm holding it back, it's gonna notch up. So let's move the locomotive. Put my hand behind it. And you can kinda of hear how the diesel engine is notching up. Now when I bring the throttle back to zero, you'll hear the intensity drop and you hear the prime mover drop back to notch six. But because head end power is enabled, it will never notch below notch six. Now to turn off the HEP, I simply turn off function 16. And you'll hear the locomotive drop back down to a normal idle. Now when using head end power mode, when you're using consist with multiple locomotives, traditionally the second or the third diesel engine would be the one that's in head end power. Because of course when the diesel engine was running that hard, the engine would be bebopping around, it'd be rough in the cab, and it'd also make a lot of noise. So the engineers would put one of the trailing units. This is where advanced consisting comes into play because you can enable function 16 onto your trailing units, but not on your lead locomotive where the engineers would be sitting. Now with this short glimpse into HEP, I hope you implement this into your railroad operations soon.